Starts off with two-man vice. All right, and what we are trying to do is we are trying to teach players how to leverage the ball. All right, so we're trying to teach players how to leverage the ball and send it back to a partner while keeping their helmet on the proper side with the proper foot up. All right, so there'll be four cones down. Okay, so there'll be four cones down. And when we start the drill the first time, all right, what we're going to do is we're going to start it with very simple, just a ball carrier right here. Okay, and then what I'll do is I'll put dots down halfway in the drill, like a flat dot here and a flat dot here. We'll start with, all right, defensive players here facing the ball carrier. Okay, early on, very simply, when we're trying to teach it, we tell this ball carrier, you can come to that dot or you can come to that dot. Okay. And then when they get to that dot, they settle. We're not trying to make anybody miss yet. We're not getting advanced with the drill. We're trying to get the ball carrier to that dot. And now the defensive players are working down. So if the ball carrier came at me, I'm sprinting to close. And this should be a right foot shimmy. And now my partner is sprinting to close. And he should end up with a left foot shimmy. And what that does is it teaches us how to leverage the ball back to where our help is. But when we get to the fitted position, even before we ever talk about or worry about contact, it teaches us how to have the proper foot up so my helmet's on the proper side so that when two players are tackling the football, all right, you can be as aggressive as you want to be and keep the helmet out of contact. Right? Because there's going to be several one-on-one -on -one tackles. Everybody works one-on-one -on -one tackling, open field tackling. It's going to happen all the time. But if you're playing really good defense and you're turning the ball back where you want it, or if you're playing really good special teams, you're going to be working in tandems and threes, and the ball's always going to be tried to be sent back to somebody else, whether it be a free hitter or somebody inside out, and I'm a force player and I'm turning it back in. We're always trying to work the ball somewhere, right? And we always try to teach our players, hey, we've got to know where we want the ball sent so that if you do miss a tackle, here's where it needs to be with the proper leverage so that we have help or we have you know, uh, the ability to get to the football. So the first thing we're doing is we're teaching two guys how to sprint to close based on the direction of a ball carrier, how to put the, how to put the proper foot up to get in that position. And then early on, one of the things we're going to focus on, when that drill stops, wherever that ball carrier is, we had better be in a good position, our hips better be low, our face mask better be up, our hands better be where we want them to tackle, and we better have the proper foot up. So right foot, left foot, okay? so that's